Hello Pisces and welcome to the love reading for singles for the month of April. Now Pisces, I've pre-shuffled your cards, I'm ready to go. For those that are loyal regular subscribers, I'm so sorry I haven't been able to bring you the weekly love readings uh, for a little while. Mercury Retrograde had my electronics going haywire and I lost my laptop, my phone, it was just a bit of a nightmare. But um I'm doing these monthly love readings as um, instead of the weeklies. I know we're already in the 11th of the month, but I am going to have a look at the energy that's kind of been and what's coming up. And I'm going to qualify with the Rider Waite Tarot um, to give me more detail. Just on that too, I've cut the deck exactly on the Eight of Cups and you already have the Eight of Cups here. So it's a repeating message. Of course, message is already starting. Eight, eight, eight. Um, before we get into it, quick channel update. Healing Dove Tarot turned one on YouTube this week on the 8th of April. Hurrah! I can't believe it's been a year. Um, some of you have been with me since the beginning, so I just want to say a massive thank you. I try and keep these intros short, but you know, um, I never expected that I would last a year on YouTube. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I also, as a thank you from me, I'm doing a reduced private reading. Um, so I'm taking 20% off. You can read in the description bar below just for the month of April. So get in quickly. I only have a few spots left. I'm almost fully booked out. Um, astrological update. We've had a new moon in the sign of Aries. It is technically our new year when it comes to the astrological calendar because we celebrate it in January, but Aries is the first sign. So that's actually coming to... Um, you know, a whole new fresh start. And for you guys having Mercury going retrograde in your sign, it's been absolutely hell, particularly when it comes to love. So this welcome energy shift uh, must be like really making you feel a little bit more light. There is a full moon coming up in the sign of Libra on the 19th. Uh, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about what that means in a second. So let's get started. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Empress. So Taurus, or Libra kind of energy. Um, I'm getting more of a Taurus because of the other cards that are on the deck. Um, this could be your interest. I also have a Virgo here. I have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a potential, um, did I say Leo already? Yeah, another Leo, so Leo twice. Don't hold on to the signs, it is a general reading. Um, What's interesting is that you've started off April with the Queen of Wands and the uh, Nine of Wands. So it was like that energy shift that I was talking about just before you got to that new moon. It could have felt really tough at work, like just really exhausting. Um, and maybe when it comes to love even, like maybe the, the people that you were dating were just not coming across how you thought they would be. And maybe they weren't coming across how they wanted to present either. I have the Eight of Cups here. So for some of you, I feel like maybe you emotionally walked away from a fire sign. Um, you just had enough of their BS. I don't know if I mentioned in this video already, I've, I think I've mentioned the others, but we have Jupiter going retrograde now. Don't freak out, it's okay. Uh, it's not quite as intense as Mercury retrograde. Jupiter retrograde's all about giving us a chance to go back and have a look at things and start again. Um, revise what's what our plan is, where we're going, what we want to do, what we want to create and achieve in the world. And for you, it's it's, it's really big energy, okay? It's, it's, it's in your career house, but I feel like um, it's going to expand your relationships as well. You have the Princess of Cups, so the Page of Cups coupled with the Ten of Cups. So maybe um, you're expecting an apology from someone, maybe this fire sign that did you wrong. I don't think you're going to get it though, sadly, because it's in the reverse. Someone that kind of maybe promised you the world about a relationship was like wanted to play happy families. Um, and I say that with confidence because at the center you have the Seven of Wands right next to the card of the um, the alien or the hermit. So it's showing me having your guard up, needing to be defensive about moving on from this person that promised you the world and then just disappeared like that. It's caused you to do a little bit of introspection about who you are, where you're going and what you want. And at the basis of that, I have the card of strength for Leo. I feel like it's all of this has been happening to break down anything that's not working when it comes to your love life. Obviously you're single, so you're watching this to see what's coming through, but that doesn't mean that there aren't people from the past that have come back. Mercury retrograde always brings back exes in some way, shape or form, even if it's just someone that you casually kind of like were dating online, but it didn't turn out to be anything. 
I haven't asked the question yet, so I'm going to put them back, but just in case they come out again, that was the Magician and the Page of Pentacles. Uh, Eddie, can I please have a qualifying card on the Queen of Wands all the way through for the month of April? Thank you. Um, two of Swords. Yeah, it's needing to make a choice about this person. It's what I was saying to you before, and I feel like you already have. Um, seven of Wands. Repeating message for you here. Okay having to have your guard up. I, I don't feel like if it is someone that you've walked away and maybe it's not a fire sign, but if you have walked away from someone and you're kind of like maybe watching this thinking, oh, did I make the right choice? You made the right choice, <laughs> okay? This wasn't the right person for you. This was the right person to, to, to make you kind of wake up and figure out what it is that you want though. Yeah, lots of communication. Um, interesting. I feel like they they even though you're waiting on an apology, like maybe they're still trying to, to get back in, like they're still trying to tell you the sob story and explain themselves and you're just like, you know what? I'm not interested. <laughs> and good, hold that energy because I get this shady feeling from them. I've got the devil card coming out, which does represent Capricorn, but it's on the, the card of the alien, which um, is Virgo but it speaks about enlightenment. So I feel like you're seeing a situation for what it really was and a person that was holding you back and not letting you live up to your true potential. And no one wants that Pisces. Like you deserve so much more than someone who's going to try and uh, restrict you in any way. That's not a healthy relationship, okay? Uh, one more card please on the strength. You do have the Ace of Cups at the center, which can mean a new love coming in or a resurrection in love. Queen of Wands, again, repeating message. And if that wasn't enough, the Hermit again at the bottom. Wow. Like, why use two decks? It's like, spirits like going, this is the message. It's the same message, right? Hermit card, the alien, same message. Okay. So let me break it down for you. You need to go within and figure out what it is that you want. And you can only do that by having your heart broken. I know that seems tough. It's like, why? That's like a, like really extreme. But it's only in doing that that do we, because we often get into relationships when we think that um, we found someone that's just like us, right? You know, it's that really exciting time and they seem like they're on the same page and it's like it could really go somewhere and you get all excited and think, yes, I finally met my person, right? And what's actually happening is you're vibrating at the same kind of frequency, right? From a spiritual point of view, it's like you're attracted to each other. You know, when you rub your hands together and you feel that energy pull between you, you're attracted to each other because they're at the same level of frequency as you. It's like tuning into a radio station, right? But what happens is people change and they grow and depending on how grounded they are as a person will depend on whether they're going to stay in that space or whether they'll level up or level down or vice versa on your side. And often that's where you see things start to shift. Unless you, you have enough there foundationally on that frequency to make it work and kind of ebb and flow, then it's, it's not going to last, okay? And I feel like that's what's happened here. I, I don't feel like this person was good for you. And I said that before, if, if you were wanting the confirmation, then this is it. Look, just look at the colors of the cards on the table, okay? You've got two of swords needing to make a decision. Seven of wands, repeating message here again, um, that competition, needing to have your guard up. On the nine of wands, that, that card of exhaustion. You have someone who won't apologize, who won't own up to their shit. Um, that always tries to come back and send you sweet messages of love. So it's like that in, out, in, out um, kind of vibes. And then it's like, you know, you win an argument with them, but then they'll turn their back on you and you're just kind of like, where am I going? It's very um, narcissistic, addictive behavior. Okay. And they're playing on your heartstrings, Pisces, because you are very warm and loving. Um, my advice is just be aware. Okay. And look, I don't know your personal situation. This is a general reading, but the message is important for someone out there. If you do have the vibe that someone's playing you or they're doing this kind of feeling, just take a step back. All right. Take a step back and try and observe the situation for what's really going on and ask yourself, does this person make me feel happy? Yes. No. Does this person add more to my life? Yes. No. Does this person make me you know, you see where I'm going with this um, and really try and reevaluate the situation for what it is um, 
And if not, if that's not the person for you and you haven't yet cut them out, then I feel like this is the message for you, giving you the strength and the empowerment that you will do that when it comes to May. Because at the end of the day, a relationship is supposed to make our life better, not worse, right? And this kind of energy, I mean, you can see it on the table. Look at the colors. It's That's not healthy, okay? That's kind of addictive um, behavior. And... Um, that's that victim mentality behavior. I'm so sorry. It'll take me back. I'm not even apologizing, just wanting to come back. Can I please have an additional guidance card for Pisces, please, on how to deal with this situation? For Thank you. Yeah, beautiful. I love it. Right. So it's like as soon as you make the conscious choice to let go of who this person is or this situation or whatever it is, it's and there's only an only one way I'm going to say it's a toxic situation, a very addictive situation, then the universe is going to come in and just go, bam, here's your new beginning. Ace of Wands. Let me read it for you. New vitality. Revitalize, focus, enthusiasm, and joy. There is great potential to revitalize your relationships right now, both with others and with yourself. Seize this energy and infuse more warmth and, and enthusiasm into all of your relationships. Have fun with other people and feel how this will lift your energy and spirits. This raised rate of vibration will assist in improving current relationships and in drawing new relationships to you. Boom. What did I say? All about vibration, right? Energy and drawing new relationships and connections to you. And that's what this person's done. It's been to open you up so that you can actually decide what it is that you want and bring it into you now. A month of great uh, change when it comes to accepting and setting boundaries, Pisces. Um, and for a lot of you out there, I feel like this is going to be the catalyst for the good things that are coming, that are meant to come. How exciting. All right. If you found this reading helpful, please hit the like button. It helps the channel more than you know. And I'll be back with you next month. Take care.